Remember Pikmin 1? Pine-sized space delivery man Olimar has his ship collide with an asteroid, causing him to crash land on Earth, where he discovers even pinter-sized leafy-headed creatures, who he uses as his minions to recover all the missing parts to his spaceship. Well, what if Pikmin won, but there was a giant green dog in the game? And there you have it, the plot of Pikmin 4. In this timeline, Olimar uses his new dog friend Moss, and yeah, she's called a dog even though she's more like a floating head with two legs attached, to collect his spaceship's missing intergalactic radio that he uses to send out an SOS signal to all nearby planets. However, in his spam email, he included the minor detail that there's tons of valuable treasure on the planet. So everyone from doctors to musicians to school teachers came to rescue Olimar. And by rescue Olimar, I mean rescue all those valuable fidget spinners and Game Boy SPs that are lying around. However, most of these space explorers would crash their ships while approaching the planet, and were brought to the Onions by the Pikmin. Well, I'm sure they mean well. And Olimar was able to rebuild his spaceship anyway, so dozens of lives are in danger for no good reason at all. However, after Olimar took off into space, he discovered that Moss's leafy tail is keeping her from leaving the planet. So to calm her down, he attempts to return to the planet. And what do you think happened next? If you said he crashes his ship, you would be right. And the Pikmin do what the Pikmin do best and take him to the Onion. Look, we might as well get a couple extra Pikmin out of this situation. Meanwhile, Olimar's SOS signal reaches a team of space explorers called the Rescue Corps, who make it their mission to save the Hokotation. But, man, I'm not even gonna say it anymore, you already know what happens. Their SOS signal then reaches the lone Rescue Corps rookie who stayed behind, and who is apparently the only person in this series who can safely land a spaceship. This feat might put them above Louie in the power scalings. Well, after stealing a space dog from the captain of their brigade, the newbie embarks on a mission to rescue the captains of the rescue corps. Uh, oh yeah, and uh, also maybe save Olimar. And the other castaways, who have all been spit out of the onions as leafy-headed people whose sole purpose in life is to complete tasks in an efficient manner, which they call the Dandori Way. Well, that sounds awesome, sign me up for getting Dandoried. But be careful, your Pikmin have to be in bed by 9pm. Psych, this isn't your grandma's Pikmin, which almost isn't an exaggeration considering Pikmin 1 came out more than 20 years ago. This is Pikmin 4, where we have nighttime missions, where you command glow Pikmin and have them form a spirit bomb to detonate on your enemies in order to protect the Luminoles, which spit out glow sap at the end of every night mission, which the Rescue Corps doctor can use to create a medicine that can cure the leaflings of their plant-based bodies. I mean, I wouldn't want to be cured, but that's just me. Also, Ochi has inexplicably developed a leaf tail after spending too much time on Earth, which is kinda terrifying to consider that Earth's atmosphere may have been infected with airborne Pikmin viruses, and normal medicine used to cure the castaways won't work on him. Eventually, our protagonist reaches the area where Olimar's SOS signal was originally sent from, and after running away from an angry moss for a couple of days, they manage to open up the bunker that Dandori Mar is hiding inside of, and the middle-aged man challenges them to a fun split-screen minigame that he loses so badly that it knocks him unconscious. And a man's best friend leaves him behind to go find a new companion. So the rescue team feeds Olimar some glow juice to cure him of his leafiness, and everyone returns to their respective planets. The end. Except you're forgetting that Ochi still has a leaf on his butt. And that means that he can't leave the planet. So the team plans to rescue a shipwrecked veterinarian who may be able to cure Ochi's leaf tail. I guess the rescue corps were just going to annoyingly leave her behind if Ochi didn't get a tummy ache on the way out. And the doggy doctor has two other companions as well that also need rescuing. And yes, they look just like Pikmin 3 captains, but aren't actually the Pikmin 3 captains because not even the devs care about the Pikmin 3 captains. However, the rookie's progress gets stopped by Louie, who was sent by the president of Hokotate Freight to rescue Olimar but got distracted by all the delicious food and fluffy dogs on Earth, and decided that instead of working a minimum wage job on Hokotate, he would instead spend the rest of his life hiding away from civilization. However, Moss is still adamant on taking the castaways to the Onion and infecting them with the leaf virus. Or maybe it's Louie who's calling the shots? 
I don't know, he, he doesn't really say much. But the Copites' obsession with juice has worked to their advantage, as they had already drank some glow sap prior to being abducted, meaning that they are immune to the leafification. Louis then gets embarrassed in a Dandori battle, and this time Moss doesn't run away because Louis runs away first. The rescued veterinarian then reveals that the only way to cure Ochi's leaf tail is to create a medicine using cells from a dog that hasn't been infected, ruling out Moss, who was actually born on Earth, and thus the leaf tail is non-removable. So yeah, Moss isn't going anywhere despite how much Olimar wants to take her home with him. Meanwhile, the nutcase known as Louie adopted a new dog, who is 200 times his size and lives at the bottom of a 20-floor cave. To be fair, this isn't the first time Louie has tamed a super boss. Or maybe it is, because that was in another timeline? A anyways, the rookie makes their way through the perilous cave in order to reach Louie at the bottom, who just wants to be left alone with his dog. So he attacks our protagonist with a plethora of magical elemental attacks that I guess dogs are just capable of doing now. I mean, there are also bugs in the shape of loaves of bread in this universe, so I guess evolution is just free-balling it at this point. The two are defeated, and this time Louis is the one to get abandoned by his dog and not the other way around. Using a hair from the Sirehound's collar, the doctor is able to create a medicine that can turn Ochi's tail back to being a fluffy cotton ball, and our protagonists take off back to their respective planets, with Moss staying behind to lead the Pikmin in their endless battle against literally every single creature on the planet. Well, besides Mamudas, they're, they're cool. Did you know that on November 1st, I gained 19 subscribers? If I gain 19 subscribers every day for the rest of my life, I'll hit a million subscribers in 103 years. And Chihuahuas only live like 13 years, so things are not looking too good for me. So maybe subscribe and also leave a comment telling me what games or series you'd like to see me cover next. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time.